Gratitude is an attitude and we need to be vocally, verbally, intentionally be thankful to the Lord for everything. Many times celebrations are done for some special occasions, but I want to tell you, celebration without gratitude to God is just the clanging of empty vessel. There's no meaning. You know, the real joy is overflowing in the heart. Only when we ascribe the purpose of our celebration is the glory of God. It is because of His grace that I am what I am today. And when we begin to thank the Lord, like the psalmist exactly, He makes a list of, you know, God's forgiveness, God's healing, God's redemption, God's loving kindness and tender mercies, and God's power to satisfy us and renew us. Now that is Psalm 103, verse 3 to 5. Amen. Uh, another example is in Exodus 15, when the children of Israel, they were staring at the Red Sea, and the Pharaoh was right behind them. God does a miracle in opening the Red Sea when Moses lifted up his rod. And the Israelites came through, whereas the Egyptians were later drowned. And later, the children of Israel, they sang unto God a song. It's a song of thanksgiving. Uh, let me read Exodus 15. One and the second part of it, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. So they, they really sing to the Lord. And if you read from verses 9 to verse 10, you know, in fact, the song talks about how the enemy, he was muttering, saying, I will destroy these Israelites. But then God made the enemy and his armies to sink as lead in the sea. And that's why in verse 11, it is said, Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Amen. So that is real thanksgiving. You know, there's no one like you, my God. When you can thank Him that way, joy floods your heart. And we even see later on in verse 20 and 21 that Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took the timbrel in her hair and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. Praise God. How much joy was there in the camp of Israel right at that moment when they begin to celebrate God for what He has done. Now that's the secret of joy when you praise Him in your blessing.